Hello everyone and welcome back. Hey guys, how's it going? Kind of nice out today. Been really cold, but it's still, uh, it's just nice because the sun's out, but sorry. Um, let me show you what I got going on. Now, I'm not going to show you my truck right now, even though I've made changes to it and I've gotten it really nice, but uh, it's kind of a mess. So I want to organize everything before I uh, show a video of that. But let me just show you something I just picked up. This thing is my new trailer. It's a service body um, on on a trailer. I just picked it up at a local auction. Uh, it, it was owned by Con Edison. They're a big utility in New York. Um, I got this at an auction. Uh, it's called JJ Kane. They actually have auctions like all over the country, so check them out. Anyway, it was my first thing I bought off of them. And uh, I wanted to build something like this. I had this in mind, but then it came along. And I, was like, I didn't even know they existed like this, to be honest. And this is exactly what I would have, probably better than what I, what I would have built. But let me just show you what it is. Okay, it's a Rawson Koenig um, utility body, service body. It's, uh, it's about... It's the same width as my van, so I guess it's like seven feet. I measured it, but I can't remember now. Um, eight feet long. And that's like another four feet to the hitch. So I could put a, I'm gonna put something up front. I think I'm gonna do some testing and see how much room I have for like a, for a box up front. But here we go. Now, I just got it yesterday, so I have to adjust, uh, I have to get another hitch for it because it's not up high enough. Let me just show you what I got. So, this is it. Please dis disregard the mess right there. <laughs> okay, so um, this is it. It's a utility body. And uh, here's my kneeling pad. That doesn't belong, but this is solid, heavy steel. I don't know what gauge it is, but it's probably like... 10 gauge I'm not even gonna I don't really know but let me just show you this thing was probably never taken on the road I think it was used in the uh, in the yard I got I'm gonna change things around I don't know how I want to do it yet but you know it has some nice uh, shelving in it nice good room the doors everything's in great shape a little bit of rust but that's I don't know why but the thing doesn't leak so Anyway, I might change this around because there's not room for big stuff. I might just raise this up and take this out. I'm not sure. But, man, this is so nice. When you have all the doors open, like there's another one, it's just badass. <laughs> I'm, right now I'm working on this. Check this out. Now, before, when I bid on it, I bid on it sight unseen. I did not know that it was going to have this. Uh, I thought it was going to be all wide open back here. And uh, honestly, I thought it was wider. They they told me the wrong information, but I'm glad it I'm glad it's not because this trails so much better than if it was 8 feet. Uh it just trails so much so much nicer. And it's the same width as my van, so I'm not going to run into any problems. But um uh let me show you. Okay, so this right here I didn't know what the inside it looked like until I opened it because like I said I bit on it sight unseen and when I first saw this I was like ah, I'm gonna have to cut all this out you know <laughs> because I need it to be wide open but then I was thinking nah this is perfect you know I got my post hole digger a shovel I could put another shovel I got a compartment there I'm just trying to put things in here to see you know how I might do it later but I could fit two saw horses there, the kind that, you know, fold up. Um, digging bars. This is a uh, Big Bertha. I've had that for like 30 years. This thing's a beast. Wrecking bar, you know. Um, here's a short digging bar. I also have a long one, which could go next to that or in the same bay. But then again, it's got stops in it. See the stop right there? That has a stop. So the long one probably had to go here. Yeah. Anyway, I've got 
plenty of room here. I'm going to keep this. Plus, it would just be so much to, to try to remove it. Right? So, I'm going to leave it. It's going to come in handy. In the inside. I'm thinking about putting a plywood up here. So that I have a nice open, you know, nice shelf. And then I still have underneath compartments. I'm, I may build drawers that pull out. I'm not sure yet. But, uh... At least put a plywood across even if it's just in the back uh, i want to get my table saw my chop saw i want to see how things fit in here first before i go doing that but i know right now at least i know these are in the way so these were to hold some some tool i don't know but they're in my way i'm cutting them out now i'm using my uh dewalt grinder just cutting where the welds are then i'll grind them down uh so it's not like something uh so i can get caught on that i'm gonna i'm not gonna go crazy right now i just want to get them out and uh let me show you the rest so now this uh that folds up right the top slides okay so it's now it's open right it comes to the back of the trailer and then you lift this up better with two hands but okay yeah try to do it with one okay that closes up and it's watertight so put this back <laughs> slides slides too easy so then actually this is so cool slides right in and uh, you can see where it goes there they leave a little bit of room for that so but then again I could could have folded this over but I could tell they were using it like that because there's like paint removed uh, where that hits so uh, yeah I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it but if I ever use this thing like trail it around with that open I don't think this is going anywhere. I mean, I might want to bungee it so it doesn't slide, but then again, I don't know why I would need to trailer it like that. Unless I had something. I don't think I'm going to use it like that, but anyway. <clears throat> um, what else? Well, actually, if I open that up, flip it, that would close all the way up. So... There might be a benefit to that. If I put this bed down, if I put that down right here, and if I have a plywood shelf here, I could put a water heater in here. Like I said, I haven't really figured out how I want to use it yet, but let me show you the other side. The other side is pretty much the same. These, it's in really good shape, even though it's a little bit of rust, but, and you know, they have uh, shelves in there. I had to do a couple adjustments on these closures. Uh, they weren't, they weren't, a couple of them weren't closing perfectly, but it was easy to adjust with a pair of channel locks. So, <coughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to say the word. Anyway, uh, nice. Like I said, I, I'm going to probably change things around, but this had uh, foam inside there. Um, but it was kind of really old, so I need to just pull that out. But just take a look at that. You know, when I pull up someplace, that is a what do you call it? A big tool, tr uh, big toolbox, right? On wheels. Ah. Uh, now, I'm the re you know I'm running out of out of room in, in my van. I just don't have enough room. No matter no matter how well I organize that the van i just don't have enough room in there to carry all the things that i have you know so i'm going to keep the van for plumbing and electrical i'm going to take the chop saw and the table saw out of there i never use it for plumbing and electrical and then i'll put it in here so i think i'm thinking about using the van for plumbing and electrical and service type work right and then if i like i said i don't do handyman work anymore but but then again, I have things, projects. I have projects here. I have projects potentially down at the beach in Delaware. I'm gonna be building, potentially. 
this spring. Well, the cost of building materials, I probably won't build, but I can uh, dig footers and get that started. Hopefully the price of building materials will come down and then I can build something. But this, this trailer right here will carry all of my, you know, general contractor, um, carpentry and handyman type tools. Everything my, my van doesn't usually carry, right? And with this setup, I can uh, I can do anything. Now, some people might say, ah, that's cool, but I'd rather have like, a, you know, like a box trailer, you know? But I've had box trailers and I, I have box trailers now and this is what I wanted. So for me, this is, this is great. I could put um, supports, like some kind of a rack up here to carry uh, plywood and sheet goods if I want, because it's low enough. I mean, I don't know what that's about, 50, let me see. It's about, it's about 56 inches. So uh, I just need something to clear this so I could open it. Um, but this is all solid, you know, sheet metal. So pretty much wherever I would put, I could put something out here. It'd be well supported. But it might be better to put something closer to here, you know, laying on top of this. But I'm, yeah, that's just down the road. I'll figure it out. But um, anyway, I was saying some people, you know, prefer box trailers. But the thing with those is I don't like how you have to get into it to get everything. I like something like this where everything's at your fingertips. You don't have to go inside. And with the way this particular one was built um having that top on there oh it's amazing it's amazing so um i'll show you real quick i do have a utility trailer right there that i purchased last year um it's a six by twelve i think single axle it's a hallmark wait now wells cargo so uh it um, doesn't have a door on the other side, but it has a, a ramp, ramp door. But anyway, that's just the utility trailer. They always come in handy. And when I sold one about 10 years ago, I really kind of regretted it ever since. So I got this one and this one's actually better than the one I had, a little taller inside. I don't have to, I don't have to like bend over, except for when I go through, I believe um, my head might hit that, but inside there it's over a little over six feet um and then in a previous video i've showed this other trailer i have let me show you that's a uh that's like an 18 foot trailer um got that last year and has a door there and i showed this in another video real quick uh, I think I even showed the inside but um, let me show you what I got in there uh, this is gonna be um, in addition to my shop you know I've shown a little bit about it in another video but uh, I got to get these things out of here <sighs> these are uh, screen printing machines I picked up um, that's another hobby of mine <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's a race trailer, and I'm going to get these out of here. And this is going to be my my mechanic uh, shop. So working on lawnmowers, um, my stump grinder, you know, whatever that kind of thing, mechanical stuff. And my other sh my other shop is um, it's a small scale manufacturing. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, let me get to cutting these. I already cut almost all the way through, and I thought I should start uh, doing a video now. So that, you know, I thought about it. I was like, let me show the way it looked before. And then, so after about, you know, maybe half an hour worth of work, what I'm going to accomplish here. So, thanks, guys. Um, see you soon.
Watch the rest of the video. Hope you enjoy. Well, guys, I screwed up with my camera. Tried to do a time lapse, and uh, <laughs> I guess it wasn't recording. And then I turned it around thinking it was off, and it kept recording. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about the trailer. And uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.